This is the Military and Aerospace Electronics Report. I'm Skylar Frank. For those of you who missed my blog last week, I wrote about an error that cost $114 million. The reason for this was F-35 Joint Strike Fighters were built while testing was taking place. This raises the question of why the F-35s were built that quickly. Proper testing is something everyone should understand. It's something you learn long before you get to the point where you can make mistakes that cost over $100 million. Unless there was a rush to get these planes out, there was no reason for such a mistake to occur. The reason for this was the engineering approach called concurrency. Now, concurrency could be a useful engineering approach, but there are certain things you simply shouldn't do together. It might sound silly, but apparently it was decided that F-35 should be put into production before we even knew that they worked. There's absolutely no reason to allow that to happen. You can do other parts of the design process together, such as testing individual parts as you design the entire aircraft, the same way a programmer might test each function to make sure it worked before throwing it all together into a real program. Even an amateur can tell you to make sure everything works before you put it all together. The thing is, these aren't amateurs. These are professionals. These are people who were trusted with the ability to make an $114 million mistake, and they made that mistake. It wasn't any single person's fault. The design process was rotten and set everyone up for failure. So maybe we should fix that. So why does the Department of Defense use concurrency? Because there are so few companies that can produce these machines, and they need money to keep everything up and running. Concurrency is wasteful, but the waste is seen as needed so we can continue being a military power. The question is, is there a better way? Building anything before you know it will work is foolish. It's common sense. The people in charge of these programs are given huge amounts of responsibility. They have to get the weapons our troops need while keeping the industry afloat. Let's hope they can figure out a solution that prevents these massive mistakes. For the Military and Aerospace Electronics Report, I'm Skylar Frank.